So we're here with Karam Shroff. Can you tell us the name of your company and where it's based? Great. Well, I'm the chairman of this company called International uh, IBC Group, uh, based out of Dubai. And we're basically uh, crypto holders, uh, substantial crypto holders of different uh, blockchain projects and ICO projects. Okay. And um, why are you here at the summit today? Well, this is uh, one of the best summits, uh, and I go to a lot of summits. Um, it is more like people here are from the blockchain community who are veterans, so we're more discussing on how to move the entire industry forward as a whole instead of just looking for funding, you know. And uh, uh, the type of people over here, Bobby Lee, Roger Ware, like, I mean, there's uh, people over here who are really old veterans um, of this uh, industry, which started in, like, 2011-ish. So you're one of the earliest investors of crypto. Can you tell us something about the Maltese regulatory framework for blockchain and your thoughts on that? Yes, I think it's amazing. I, I, uh, later on today, I will be meeting with the president and uh, we will be discussing about security tokens and how Malta can play a role in uh, doing security token and regulating security token. And we're also uh, discussing with the Malta government on how to bring uh, Islamic finance, uh, Sharia compliant uh, financial products uh, to the world uh, under um, a Malta regulated facility in terms of sakooks and how can we use uh, Sharia uh, finance or Islamic finance um, by using blockchain to create more efficiencies and create bigger investment opportunities for, uh, uh, um, around the world. So you were talking about blockchain being an efficient system, but um, what, in your opinion, are two challenges that startup companies face um, when it comes to um, blockchain activities? I think uh, uh, it's knowledge. I really believe that knowledge is very important. And the other thing is uh, legal structure. These are the two things which are very important, and I think Malta can play a role on a global level for both of these uh, uh, situations, which is educating and also um, in terms of helping the legal infrastructure to be into place so that everyone's on the right side of the law. Um, and lastly, what do you think about the summit so far? Oh, it has been fabulous. I have just met some very interesting people, uh, people from all around the world, and it's just uh, inspiring to meet people from um, so many different cultural backgrounds, so many different religious backgrounds, discussing about how blockchain uh, or how crypto is being implemented in their societies. And it's just it's a wonderful experience and beautiful weather. And I think everyone who is involved in crypto around the world should come to Malta. That's very good to hear. Thank, Thank you very you. much for your time. Thank you.